talking about what makes great linebacker play. Uh, what's the difference between an All-America linebacker and just a good linebacker? I think it's a ton of stuff that goes into it. It's a pre-snap. you got to be the smartest person in America pre-snap. You know, it's something we talk about in linebacker room. And if you have that and your football IQ is high, uh, put you a step ahead of the game a little bit. Um, you kind of sense what's coming. You can never guess, but you can anticipate a little bit. What was your favorite play Saturday? You had the interception. You had the sack. But you had that play at the goal yeah, line. Yeah, I would say the goal line stand that whole sequence right there, those three plays in a row. Um, you know, it's huge. You know, they score right there. You know, it can be a completely different ball game. I think what were we up? It was 7-0. Seven seven yeah, I mean, it's a tie ball game then, and who knows what could happen. So definitely that little situation. The play where you got Anderson, and it looked like he was fighting, and then you said, not this week. They're not stretching it over the goal line. <laughs> and then sprung yeah. him backward. I don't know. Maybe that's how my back was a little sore on Sunday. Um, <laughs> but, no, that yeah, was definitely, you know, a big-time play. We needed that. Um, you know, guys inside, you know, I can't give them enough uh, hype and enough credit for that. You know, you watch Mike on all those plays. He was underneath them all making some tackles, tripping them up at the feet. How did he get through there on the one on the fourth down play? Uh, he was crawling. Nah, he, he's a beast. Um, you know, that's what we do when it's short yardage like that. Those D linemen, you know, the lower man's going to win in that situation. No one's really going to get lower than Mike. Uh, with more power, and he was able to do that, sneak through there, and he's, he's quick twitch like that. Um, he does a great job with it. Joe, I want to ask you about Indiana. This is a team that Penix. Big arm. Yeah. He can launch it. Ramsey's going to dink and dunk. So hard is, how hard is it to prepare? Because those are yeah. two completely different styles. Yeah, they are. Um, we've played Ramsey in the past, so we have a little experience with him. Uh, we understand he's going to manage the game. He's going to put the ball in the right spot. Uh, he does a good job with that. He knows their offense. Uh, we don't know much about the new guy yet. Um, you know, We've seen a couple games, obviously. He's got a very strong arm. We know that. Um, he's going to escape the pocket a little bit. He has the ability to do that. Um, and, you know, from last week, a couple of zone read situations, he has a chance to do that. Either quarterback does, really. Um, so we got to be ready for both of them. When you know a team like this is not going to run on you, they're going to have to throw it 50 times, is it like, is it a good feeling knowing, okay, we've probably made them one-dimensional before the game even starts? Uh, I wish I could say that. They got a little too much last week, and I know, um, you know, we know this offense coordinator likes to, you know, copy some players the week before with success. Um, they had, and last week it wasn't our best run performance. We knew that. Um, so they're going to you know, try a couple of those fold plays that Northwestern ran, I'm sure, and I will be anticipating that. Um, but, you no, know, when you make a team one-dimensional, you know, that's a good thing. Thanks, Joe.